before we went live, I showed you my uh, new shirt that I had made. Yeah, the yeah. Man yeah. of P. Hall T. Yep, which Manly is P. a, Hall. Uh, you know what I'm saying, the man of mystery, great teacher. Uh, you were talking a little bit about how um, he left you some of his, his work and how you miss him and how he was a great mentor. Yeah, he was a wonderful, wonderful man. I, myself, just my opinion, but I think he was probably one of the greatest teachers this world has ever known in any era of time. One of the great masters of knowledge and wisdom and education that's ever lived on this earth. And I mean, going back into the Grecian Empire, the Grecian uh, Roman Empire, and all the great minds and the philosophical teachers of the world, I, I, I know about so much of that history. I cannot fathom in my mind anyone who comes close to the work of Manley Palmer Hall. He was an incredibly brilliant man, and he never promoted any particular religious yeah. belief. He never, he never promoted any particular uh, philosophical or, or political viewpoint at all. What Manley P. Hall did was nothing short of phenomenal. He taught everyone about every religion and concept and philosophy in the whole world as a master. I don't care what it is, and, and from China to, to uh, Japan to Africa to any country in the world, any nation, any race, creed, or color, any belief system, any religion, he was a master in all of it. What an incredible, incredible man he was. And he was a dear friend of mine. And I learned so much from him. And I learned humility from him because for being such an incredible teacher, he was always very humble and very quiet and very, uh, you know, just a wonderful, wonderful teacher. And I learned a lot from him. The world could learn a lot if they just settled down and, and, and listened to the old man. You know, there's, there's, I don't know, there's hundreds of hours yeah. of Manly P. Hall on the web uh, uh, talking, and people could just uh, sit and listen to him and just be amazed at the brilliance of this man's mind. And I know more about him than most people. I could tell you a lot about Manly P. Hall. That, uh, But anyway, I, I just always loved him. I, I've always respected everything he does. And he's gone now, but his work is still with us. And you can see it on, go on the web. Anybody listening could go on the web to Manly, M-A-N-L-Y, P. Hall, H-A-L-L. -L, and go on to YouTube and just type in Manly P. Hall and listen to him. You tell me if he's not the most <laughs> incredible thing you've ever heard. I love him because he, um, he, like you said, he doesn't teach it like he's trying to teach you Christianity or Buddhism or Taoism or whatever. But he simply acts as a historian telling you what they all believe and how they all kind of seem to run together and essentially let essentially lets you choose. I have a lot of people that say Manly P. Hall teaches this and he teaches that. He, do, he doesn't vouch for any of it. He presents it and say, hey, this is what they believed. How does that apply yeah. to you, right? Yeah, and he would say, and he would say uh, if you want to talk about Buddhism, then understand it correctly. It's not that simple. And then he would go into two hours of <laughs> explaining all of the different kinds of Buddhism and what each one taught and each one believes and where it came from, and where they got their ideas from. He's not promoting it. If you're going to believe something, well, here the rest of the story you didn't know. And so when, I, I'm just amazed what he was able to do, and especially I was very much impressed with his uh, Astral Theology series. The true religion. It's like about seven, I think it's seven 90-minute uh, lectures he did. And he called it astral theology. And what it was is he explained where all of the beliefs in Christianity and Judaism have come from. In the ancient and prehistoric ancient world, the, the belief systems that finally became known as Judaism. 
and Christianity, where did those ideas, belief systems, words and terms and symbols come from? Where did it all actually begin? Going back to the very beginning, you know, millenniums ago, thousands and thousands of years ago, where did religion start and where did it come from? And what a masterful job he did with that. Yeah. And it, it was startling to anybody who has an open mind. And remember, your mind is like a parachute. Don't work if it's not open. <laughs> yeah, but if you've got an open mind and you really want to know, go on the web to Manly P. Hall and look up astrotheology. And it's like about seven or eight hours where he explains the whole of world religions, where it comes from, what it all means. So, yeah, he was a wonderful man, and I loved him greatly. And, uh, and, and yeah, when he passed away, he left me his research journals. It was a priceless, priceless uh, collection of all of his work of his life he left to me. Can, can you shed any, any light on how he passed? I've read different things online that he was taken out and um, that there was different things done to him. Do you, do you have any knowledge on his, his final hours? I thought I did. Yeah. <laughs> I thought I did because I was told by people on the inside who knew uh, I, I, you know, something about Manly P. Hall's death. And from what I gathered, no matter what the story is, there's two or three of them out there. Yeah. Uh, each one's different. But the bottom line on all three stories is the same. He was murdered. He was killed. And uh, and so, uh, but he was like, I don't know, in his 90s, yeah. I guess. Still going. Uh, yeah, it's still going. Beautiful, brilliant mind. Even at 90 years old, he was dazzling the audiences with his lectures. Uh, because he could talk about the ancient Sumerians, the ancient Egyptians, the Babylonians. The ancient Chinese dynasties, what they believed, and why they believed it, and what they taught, and you know, and just he was just a magnificent teacher, and uh, I'm I'm delighted that all of his work is still out there on on YouTube because uh, people don't know about him, so yeah. I'm trying to make yep. you aware. Definitely. go and listen to Manly P. Hall. You you will be amazed at what what you will discover. Definitely. <laughs> What's the so, uh, what's the oldest Manly P. Hall book that you have? I love collecting his old his old work. Oh yeah, yeah. I had uh, I had his uh, All Seeing Eye book. Um, I can't even remember. I, I, I got so much of his stuff, and <laughs> yeah, uh, yeah. But it was all very very fascinating. The one thing I liked about him too is that on his lectures and 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 in his writings and on his lectures, he always started right on the hour you know, in his church or his, his little group, he'd always start right on the hour and exactly 90 minutes to the second, he would end it. And it would be a perfectly beautiful lecture on some subject, some religion, some philosophy, that he would start exactly on time and exactly 90 minutes later he came to the end and it was perfectly beautifully presented. And I've often wondered how in the world yeah. Because he put together a beautiful, flowing mind trip uh, on, on education and have it in appropriately, perfectly right on time each time. Now, was he was, reading a lot of that stuff or was no. he just going off the top? Wow. Just going off the top of his So head. many hours upon hours upon hours. Hours and hours yeah. and hours. Hundreds and yeah. hundreds of hours. And I used to go to his lectures all the time on Sundays. On Sundays, he would have a, uh, a you know, a big meeting, uh, like at a meeting hall. And he would come out, his old man, he would come out and they'd sit him down in a big, a big, huge chair on the stage and put the microphone up for him. And he's just an old man and there's no notes and nothing. And he would sit there and dazzle audiences with brilliant stuff. Honor, People yeah. have never heard the kind of things that, yeah. that he was talking about. He was explaining the Bible, where it came from, who wrote it, and the Quran, and who actually wrote it, and, and what it is actually saying, not what you thought it was saying, and, and, the, and the depth of insight into philosophies and religions. Um, he was magnificent. 
If you enjoyed listening to this podcast segment, be sure to listen to the entire episode by clicking the video to your right. Also, we are on iTunes. You can download the MP3 versions as well. Be sure to subscribe for future episodes.